today and I was like oh my goodness what do I do with my life I'm out of class early it was four hours early actually and so I texted my boyfriend and I'm like I'm free and like my boyfriend has these insane schedule planning skills he's just really great at making schedules and most of the time sticking to them too so I was just like man I wish I had your schedule planning skills um I don't know what I did with my phone I'll find it the next time it rings. Um, yeah. So, and then he told me that I should make a list of just plans of things that I want to do on one sheet of paper and then on another sheet of paper that I should write down, like, in time blocks. And so, this is what I came up with. I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah. Right? So that was my um, idea paper. And then this is all I got scheduled. Yeah, so I don't know if you could read that. <laughs> but right now it's 3.15. And um, uh, I didn't even finish tidying up or whatever. I made my bed. I usually, I mean, I didn't have time to make it this morning before class because I was in a hurry, so I had to do the essentials, you know, go shower, go to the hair real quick, and go to class, but anyway, so making a YouTube video was nowhere on that list, but here I am doing it because I thought it would be more fun to make a video for you, whoever you are out there watching me. I know you're out there. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I was tagged, that, that's why I'm making this video, I know, I talk too much, but I was tagged by the lovely Miss Nicole, Nicole, <laughs> Nicole G TV, and there she is, I'm just gonna start doing this now, I'm just gonna start doing this, Ooh, look at that lovely smile, <laughs> okay, so, Mm, question. Question numero uno. Would you rather walk around all day with your skirt tucked into your underwear or be seen wearing a really see-through dress? Hmm. Now, oh, this is kind of a toughie because, I mean, I don't know if I'd be able to pull off the whole skirt in my underwear thing. Ew. You know, I, may, I might be able to laugh at myself and be like, oh, <laughs> I had my skirt tucked in my underwear. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know, because I'm kind of self-conscious. Self-conscious? Yeah. About my body. So, I don't know if I would want you seen through my dress all day. No. Mm -mm. So, I guess I would just have to have my skirt tucked into my underwear. Hopefully, hoping that I was wearing tights or something that you weren't seeing all the all the, uh, you know, everything exposed. <laughs> um, question number two. Would you rather go to a party and not realize until the end of the night that you have lipstick on your teeth or that your fake lashes are coming unglued? I think I would rather go to the party and not realize that I have lipstick on my teeth because, I don't know, like, it happens and I don't really... I don't know how, I, I don't think I could wear fake eyelashes because just thinking of like gluing something to my eyelashes and I was always freaked out by the the eyelash curler thingies and I don't know how people do it. How do you do it? Like how do you not freak out at this big scary looking curler thingy coming at your face? I just think it's scary. So, yeah. Would you rather forget to put mascara on one eye? Or forget blush on one side of your face. I think I would just forget to put, forget to put, <laughs> I think I would rather forget to put mascara on one eye. Because I don't think it would be that noticeable, you know? Like, I don't know, 
if I would put that many coats of mascara on, then they'd be like, oh my goodness. Like, who would be looking at me that closely? That would be like, oh my goodness, you forgot to put on a coat of mascara on one eye. So, yeah. Um, would you rather wear lipstick, lip liner combo, or frosty blue eyeshadow? Okay, I'm assuming that these are both makeup faux pas. <laughs> but you know what? Like, I think that frosty blue eyeshadow would be kind of fun to wear. So, actually, I think I used to wear frosty blue eyeshadow in sixth grade. Actually, I think maybe it was like a frosty blue pencil thing that I took from my mom. But I used to wear it. I used to love it. And I used to wear baby blue, like this baby blue hoodie, and put on my like little frosty blue eyeliner pencil thing. And, um,. One time I saw an America's Next Top Model, I forgot who said it, but someone was like, oh, don't match your eyeshadow to your clothes, because that's tacky, but whatever, sometimes I like to do that, okay? <laughs> so, um, would you rather wear foundation that is too shaped, too light? Ow, I just got my bracelet stuck on the arm of my chair. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Would you rather wear foundation that is too shaped, too light? Or go way overboard on bronzer. Well, I guess it depends on what day it is. Because on any given day, the bronzer would be like, eh, okay, whatever. You know, you're wearing too much bronzer. And your face is too bronze. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. Uh, I just stopped in the middle of that question to see that I wasn't running out of camera time or anything because that would make me sad. But I think I was saying, yeah, it depends on what day it is because if I do the, the foundation that's two shades of light, two shades of light, haha, <laughs> two shades too light, and it's Halloween, then I can say that I'm a vampire and I want to suck your blood. <laughs> okay. Um, would you rather drink an entire bottle of ketchup <laughs> or run into the guy who broke your heart on a bad hair day when your skin is freaking out? Um, I think... I really like ketchup. I mean, I love ketchup on almost everything. Well, maybe not everything, but you know, especially on my eggs with black pepper, black pepper and ketchup. Mm, love it. But, um, I don't think you could drink a whole bottle of ketchup. It's kind of nasty. So, I would have to run into the guy who broke my heart on a bad hair day when my skin is freaking out. And just tell myself that I still look good and I don't care. I don't care about you, guy. Heartbreaker guy. Okay, so would you rather be able to date any celeb you wanted or wake up with perfect red carpet worthy hair? Oh, do you have to ask? I would wake up with the perfect red carpet worthy hair, of course. I mean, I'm sure I have some hair sticking up right now, so. <laughs> but um, I go with the hair all the way and then I can go find myself somebody who's not the celeb. Not that it really matters about my hair to go find somebody who's not a celeb, but whatever. I go with the hair, okay? Okay. Um, would you rather your armpits smell musky or like delicious lasagna? Now this one I asked my friend last night, just randomly, like we were talking on the phone, and I was like, hey Debbie, would you rather your armpits smell musky or like delicious lasagna? And she just said, oh, musky. And I was like, why? Do you think it would be really weird if your armpits smelled like lasagna? And she's like, yeah, I don't want my armpits to smell like lasagna. I guess she thought it would be too freaky. So I guess she'd rather go with the musky armpit. But I don't know. I mean, I just hope, I, don't, I guess it's kind of weird if your armpits smell like lasagna. I guess it'd have to be a whole new level of funk, you know? But, um, musky armpits? Mmm. Mmm. I mean, hopefully you'd be able to, like, cover it up and just hopefully nobody would smell your musky armpits but maybe if we did smell like lasagna then nobody would really know that it was your armpits per se that smelled like lasagna and they would just think that you just ate lasagna or something and that's why you smell like lasagna and um i think it's time to move on to the next question now <laughs> and that is would you
you rather give up your makeup or cell phone for one year? <gasps> ah, well, cell phone, where art thou? I don't think I could give up my cell phone for one year, but I really like playing with my makeup. And <gasps> I just got new makeup. Hold on. Looky what I got. I got the Coastal Sense Metal Mania palette. Yay! And that's what I played with today before making this video. Because of course I didn't have time to put anything on my face before going to class. Nor did I need to. But anyway, I don't know. Like, makeup is just a part of my entertainment these days since... I became a girl somewhere between 22 and 23 years old, <laughs> and I just, I like it. But, I mean, I guess I could give it up for a year, but I have to find some other way to entertain myself. But my phone, I don't think I could give up my phone for one year. I don't think, yeah, because my mom has to, like, be able to bother me whenever she wants, and she's always calling me and stuff, and that's okay. I'd rather give up the makeup. Okay. <laughs> um, would you rather run into a cute guy you like with food all in your grill, your teeth, <laughs> or no makeup at all? You know what? I think I would rather run into the cute guy with food all up in my grill because, you know, at least then that would like be a topic of conversation. It would be like, hey, did you know that you have food all up in your grill? And I'd be like, hey, look at myself. I do have food all in my grill. And then we could like laugh about it, you know, like if I had a piece of lettuce or something or maybe some lasagna on my cheek or something. I don't know, like it would probably make for interesting conversation, you know? Yeah. So that's it. That's my video and it's 3.29 p.m. And, yeah, I, I had other things designated for this time, but I'm probably going to go edit this video and post it now. I know, I know I'm bad. Okay, bye! Ooh, I whistled. Mmm, <laughs> Malta. <laughs> okay, I have to burp. <laughs>